Most people play video games to escape from their day-to-day -day lives. But what happens when you notice you're actually in one of the games you're playing? It turns out not everyone is happy about it. Here's a look at some games that angered real-life characters. NCAA March Madness Once upon a time, video games based on college athletics were big business. And that didn't sit well with Ed O'Bannon, a member of the 1995 UCLA men's basketball championship team, because college athletes weren't paid a dime for their unwilling participation. So when O'Bannon noticed that his likeness was being used in NCAA March Madness more than a decade after he left college, he filed suit against the NCAA and EA. Eventually, EA and the NCAA agreed to settlements totaling $40 million, money which was divided among tens of thousands of student athletes that were taken advantage of over the years. And video games featuring college college players? Since the legal battle ended in 2014, nobody has even tried to make a new one. Guitar Hero 5 the folks at Activision had been trying for years to get Kurt Cobain into the Guitar Hero franchise, so when he finally debuted in Guitar Hero 5, it seemed like a win for everyone. One problem, though. The deal they made with Cobain's widow Courtney Love only allowed Cobain to be used for certain Nirvana tracks, so when she discovered you could play as Cobain to sing other tunes in the game, she hit the ceiling, calling the game necrophilic and vile in a Twitter rant that made headlines. Yikes. Grand Theft Auto 5 the smash hit video game Grand Theft Auto V featured a character named Lacey Jonas, an actress hounded by the paparazzi. Lacey, come on, give us a smile! Stop with the pictures! That hit a little too close to home for Lindsay Lohan, who sued, additionally claiming that a bikini-clad woman on the cover of the game was also based on her. Unfortunately for Lohan, her lawsuit was thrown out for lacking merit. Band Hero Activision doubled down on their Guitar Hero mistakes when they put out Band Hero in 2009 and improperly allowed players to use avatars from the band No Doubt to pretty much do whatever they wanted. Gwen Stefani and the rest of the band sued, claiming the band agreed to be in the game to perform their songs as they did in real life, not as a virtual karaoke circus act. Activision was forced to settle the suit out of court. Some people just never learn. Scribble Knots. Warner Brothers found out the hard way that memes work differently in the real world after they were sued by the creators of Neon Cat and Keyboard Cat over improper use of the characters in the 2012 video game Scribblenauts. They were fine with people online sharing and adapting their creations for fun, but they weren't fine with a corporate behemoth using their characters to make money. Warner Brothers eventually settled out of court, which just shows the true power of internet cat memes. Gears of War you may not be familiar with former NFL player Lenwood Hamilton, but in 2017, he sued Epic Games and Microsoft, claiming that his look, mannerisms, and elocution were stolen for a character named Augustus Cole in Gears of War. Cole was actually voiced by actor Lester Spate, better known as Terry Tate, office linebacker. You know you need a cover sheet on your TPS reports, Richard! That ain't new, baby! Hey, Terry. Hey, Janice! Mother but Hamilton claimed that Spate stole the whole act from him when they worked together as wrestlers in 1998 and now he wants a piece of the Gears of War pie. The courts have yet to decide just how much of a case Hamilton has, but one way or another, we bet someone is in for a world of hurt. You wanna play game scene? Well, when it's game time, it's pain time, baby! Woo! Velvet Assassin Violette Zabo was a British secret agent during World War II, who was awarded the nation's prestigious George Cross Medal after she was captured and executed by the German army during a daring mission behind enemy lines. In 2009, the video game Velvet Assassin featured a fictionalized version of Zabo named Violette Summer, who during the game's morphine mode fought enemies dressed only in a revealing nightgown. That might explain why Zabo's daughter, Tanya, refused to let Replay Studios use her mother's name in the game. Because seriously, guys? Come on. Mary-Kate and Ashley in Action In one of the darkest chapters in gaming history, Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen appeared in no fewer than nine video games over a three-year period between 1999 and 2002. In 2003, though, the planned tenth game in the franchise, Mary-Kate and Ashley in Action, was abruptly cancelled, leading to a lawsuit from the famous twins over lost development costs. How rude! <laughs> Call of Duty Black Ops 2 Finally, one of the weirdest instances of a real person getting ticked off at a video game came in 2012, when former Panamanian dictator Manuel Noriega sued Activision over Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Noriega, who was in prison when he filed the lawsuit, claimed the game's depiction of him as a bad guy was defamation of character. In a decision that surprised nobody, a judge dismissed the case immediately. Nice try. Thanks for watching! Click the SVG icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too!